Hold on guys, I want to do the next video on Tribe, so before we proceed with that, I've been getting a lot of questions, so for the sake of trying to help you guys out and, and uh, be pretty transparent and answer all the stuff that you guys have, I'm going to go ahead and run down a few of the better ones or more concise ones on the list. So AF from Utah asked, what do you look for in a member? How do you choose who gets to prospect and what can I do to join? Okay, so... Uh, right off the bat, I want to touch on something. If you're sending messages to guys uh, in any group, I, I don't care what group it is, saying, how can I join, and you've never met any of them before, that comes off as a really big red flag. Um, what you see on the Internet or whatever and all that is great, but until you've met people, uh, how would you know that you even want to be a part of what it is that they do? Um, we might all just be total fucking dicks. Uh, and most of us are, but uh, I mean, you got to think about what you want. And, and if you want to join something sight unseen, question those motives there. As far as the other parts of the question, what do we look for in a member um, and how we choose? I think that after having been an organization for, you know, over 10 years now, and, and it's sort of like become a, a living, breathing organism made up of all members past and present, um, there's, there's come a certain instinct when it comes to new people, and I think a lot of that is probably driven by, uh, you know, instinct certainly, but, but xenophobia, I would say as well. There, there's a really intense love uh, from the members for what we do and what we've created, and that love also creates a mistrust for people who are on the outside and maybe looking to push really hard to join it because... We're very protective of what we've built and one of the reasons why we've been able to stay uh, relevant and strong over the course of that amount of time is that we are very 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 careful about who even gets to come back more than one time you know um it, it may be something that seems super small to other people you know a, a really small infraction of something and you'll see this almost imperceptible kind of head shake from one guy to another guy and that's it you know that that person's never going to get invited back again so you know that's a really hard question to answer but but that it's instinctual there, there's a lot of stuff we look for but a lot of it is people sort of remove themselves from the process oftentimes without even having to go any further just based on little stuff that rubs you the wrong way so the best advice i can give there is you know trust your gut and and oftentimes that takes some time invested in in the organization and and realizing that you kind of have to become this group mind uh in some ways that allows you to eliminate people who are looking to join for the wrong reasons there's a lot of stuff that surrounds the wolves that people say oh why do you guys use these symbols why are you pushing these really extreme uh images and all this kind of stuff and what I often answer people who I give a shit about answering is that a lot of what we put out there are defense mechanisms, armor against the insincere. There's a lot of kind of people who will see what we put out there and be like, oh, fuck these guys and dismiss us out of hand. And that's good um, because that that's our armor in a lot of ways, too. So, you know, only only a certain kind of person is going to seek us out and and out of those kind of people it's often easier to eliminate the bad ones and find the good ones who are very rare um so uh what is the oath of the wolves asked bn from the uk and can you be specific regarding what it entails uh it's pretty sacred to us um for lack of a better word and so you know it's not out there it's not going to be published out there the Oath of the Wolves is a very specific thing that a member uh, or someone who right before they become a full member speaks and that it is reciprocated to them by all the other members who are present. Sort of basically a binding of your story with the greater story and the greater legend and the ongoing saga of the wolves. The Oath is very specific and it calls for a very specific code of behavior in the individual who is swearing that oath. Um, it's something that is, is not light. It, it requires 100% um fellowship and and 100 percent of what you have for what comes next so i can't be specific but you know if you're if you're a guest at a wolves event it, it's not a clandestine thing um any more so than what anything we do is clandestine so it is kind of hard to uh get an invite but you know if you're there and someone's oafing in you'll get to hear it otherwise you won't um 
JB from Spain asks, what is the ultimate purpose of the wolves? You all seem to train, lift, fight, etc. But what is it that you are training for exactly? What is the goal here? Um, that's a good question. And for me to, to fully answer that, I would have to say that out of all the stuff that's out there about the wolves, all the bullshit, misinformation, slander, lies, praise, more lies, half-truths, and so on and so forth, um, one thing that I can say is, is the truth and probably what the wolves boils down to for me is that um, we are glory hounds. That is what the wolves exist for. It exists to push each other in order to, to create stories that would be worth living. Um, that is the goal of the wolves, is, is to create and to weave your story in with other individuals in order to create a tapestry that when you die, you are you are proud of having lived um, and, and amongst people that you are proud of having shared your time with. Uh, so I think that the idea of training, lifting, fighting and all this kind of stuff, you're, you're, we're training for, for that greater story. We're training to be ready for whatever comes along so that we don't have to say, well, we weren't able to follow that thread to its conclusion because we didn't feel like we were ready or capable to do this. So. I think that this is something that can probably apply to a lot of people in a lot of different situations is that when we train, uh, we should always be training for life. We should always be training um, for the story to say, you know, well, I didn't say no to life. I said yes, and you know, that, that, that holy yes to life. I was always able to say yes because that's what I'm training for. Um, and, and so the ultimate goal of the wolves is to re-explore things that I think are current society and our current culture is losing touch with that people say ironically or sarcastically, you know, um, words like loyalty, virtue, honor, legend, you know, all these things that I think people have come to use in a very slap shot, um, slapstick kind of way. Uh, we don't use them that way. We use them honestly and we use them with heart and with conviction because we find that they have value. Um, and, and exploring those things and, and discovering what those things mean in the current age. That is the goal, that is the purpose of the wolves. Um, last question for the video is uh, sort of an amalgamation of several different questions that I got, which is how do you deal with the problems of leadership, avoiding turning your organization into a cult of personality, etc.? cetera? Um, I would say that the accusation that the wolves is a cult of personality is an accurate one with one small correction and that the wolves is a cult of personalities, plural. Um, we look in this organization to surround ourselves with people who are larger than life and who are constantly making themselves larger characters in the ongoing story of the wolves. We don't look for people who will blindly follow. We don't look for people to stand on the backs of. We look for people who will stand shoulder to shoulder with us and so that when we tell the story of, of what happened, we say, you know, so-and-so was there and so-and-so, and that that story couldn't possibly have happened without those brothers there because of their distinct personalities and because of how they live larger than life, you know, given over to these, these great moods and these great um, excesses of character, I guess. And that, you know, like I said before, the, the wolves are glory hounds, and, and we take pride in that when we decide what we're going to do, we don't say, oh, well, this is the way that we should do this, or this is the safer way. We say, you know, what's the better story? What will make for a more, a more glorious story? What's the best thing that we can do here in order so that when we come back together with the rest of our brothers, we can tell a story to make them laugh the hardest or, or be the most inspired or the most impressed with what we did and the proudest of us. Um, so that's what we're all looking for in this organization is we're looking for with no trace of irony we're looking for our brothers and our sisters to be proud of us and in order to have that uh, we have to drive ourselves every single day to look for those roads that will take us the furthest towards that to inspire them and to make them proud when we get together at Sumble, which for us is a ritual drinking round, when we speak our boasts or when we make our oaths to each other or, or to deeds that we're going to undertake, I can't drive this home enough. We do it without irony and we do it without sarcasm because these are the things that, that make stories and that when we die, we'll say, you know, that was a story worth living. So next time we'll talk about some more specifics and, and hopefully put some more tools in your toolbox towards uh, building building a good and a strong tribe. But for now, 
just remember, you know, live, live fully, live with heart, live with conviction, and live without uh, irony and sarcasm. Take what, uh, take what you say that you're about and do it fully, because at, at the end of the day, everything that can boil down is that, did you, did you have a story worth telling, and did you live a story worth telling?